This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at calculating empirical formula from percentage composition by mass. An organic compound A contains 62% by mass of carbon, 24.1% by mass of nitrogen, and 13.9% by mass of hydrogen. So from this data, we will determine the empirical formula of the organic compound A. Because we are given percentages in the question, we can assume we have 100 grams of the compound. So that gives us 62 grams of carbon, 13.9 grams of hydrogen, and 24.1 grams of nitrogen. The next step is to divide the mass in grams by the relative atomic mass. So for carbon, that's 62 divided by the relative atomic mass of carbon, which is 12.01. For hydrogen, it's 13.9 divided by 1.01. And for nitrogen, it's 24.1 divided by 14.01. This gives us 5.16 moles of carbon, 13.8 moles of hydrogen, and 1.72 moles of nitrogen. Next, we divide each of these values by the smallest to find the lowest whole number ratio. So we divide 5.16 by 1.72, which gives us 3. We divide 13.8 by 1.72, which gives us 8 and we divide 1.72 by 1.72 to give us 1. We now have the lowest whole number ratio of atoms in the compound. The final step is to write the symbol for the element and the number in subscript. So the empirical formula for the organic compound A is C3H8N. Next, we'll determine the molecular formula of A given its molar mass and its empirical formula. So the empirical formula of A was C3H8N. The first step is to add up the relative atomic masses of the atoms in the empirical formula. So that's 3 times the relative atomic mass of carbon, plus 8 times the relative atomic mass of hydrogen, plus 1 times the relative atomic mass of nitrogen, which gives us a total of 58.12. Next, we divide the molar mass of the compound by the sum of the relative atomic masses of the atoms in the empirical formula. So that's 116 divided by 58.12, which gives us 2. And the final step is to multiply all the atoms in the empirical formula by 2. So that's 2 times 3 for the carbon, 2 times 8 for the hydrogen, and 2 times 1 for the nitrogen. And this gives us a molecular formula of C6H16N2.